Right now, J.P. Morgan Chase is in the middle of a long-term $30 billion commitment to advancing racial equity in cities across the country, including Boston. And among the recent investments, $7 million to increase career and college opportunities for Boston public school students, and $5 million to improve access to affordable housing. I sat down with Chairman and CEO Jamie Dimon. He told me he believes his company's efforts can have a big impact on the city. We try to do everything, which includes philanthropy, uh, financing entrepreneurs of color, affordable housing, uh, mortgages for black families, and so uh, we're just making the same effort here we're doing in a lot of other places. And, and you've talked about breaking down barriers of systemic racism. How does the bank do that? Wh where will the money go? Yeah, so $8 billion for mortgages, and we can actually track it. So we're going to actually look at where we have loan officers, where we need them, go to LMI neighborhoods, majority, minority neighborhoods, how many loans are we making last year, how many are we going to make this year, hire, uh, hire and train loan officers. We're going to hire and train black financial advisors. Affordable housing is basically a number of units. So that's $12 billion for that. And those, by those, not, that's not philanthropy. There is philanthropy around certain education things, startup funds for certain homeowners and uh, mm -hmm. So we try, to, we try to track everything at a very detailed level, and it takes place at the local level. So right. I can say whatever I want in corporate headquarters, but the question is, what do we do in Boston for the black community right. and on these efforts we're trying to make? How, and how do you measure success? It, it's going to be area by area. Mm -hmm. How many mortgages do you make? Right. How many loans uh, loan are higher? How many savings accounts do you open? And the branch is doing quite well, mm -hmm. but uh, we're going to have something we call a community branch where it's bigger and you bring in the community for... You hire from the community and you bring in the community for financial education, small business education, et cetera. Um, so we're, we're pretty tough on ourselves. And we're going to report it to the world. We're not going to hide it. We're trying to be very clear about what we're trying to accomplish. And Diamond says his focus is outcomes. If money goes to schools, are students getting jobs? How many black and minority families own homes? And we also spoke about why he says he's done with Zoom meetings, wants to get back to the office, the economy after the pandemic, and interesting thoughts on China. You can watch my full interview on our website, cbsboston.com. Paul, it's interesting how he made, you know, made sure to note that this is not philanthropy, that this is about access to jobs and access to opportunities so diverse families can also build wealth. It'll be interesting to follow along and see how successful they are. It helps the whole economy. Yeah. While